All right, here's where my tower wall is going to go. And I'm not sure how I'm going to connect the, like, make the mold work to get the wall connected right into here. But I know how to do this, so I'm just going to put the foundation part in. And hopefully I'll get a good idea of how to connect the wall in there. See, the difficult thing is, um, okay, it's easy to make the wall go straight in. Because my mold just goes right against the wall, right? But at an angle like that, at a really steep angle, one side of the mold will be between the two walls. Uh, so I, I can't have it right jammed in the corner because it'll get stuck. Then the other piece will have to like extend out. So I'll have to put an extra piece. Ah, that'll make sense later. In the meantime, I can whip out some bulldozer parts. All right, this is a little tricky to get connected in here, but not too bad. Yeah, it did. It's not a perfect curve, but close enough. And then this has some little cutouts that fit on the end of the PVC with the nail going through it that hold this on. And then this is pulled like a bow, so it's the right curve. But then this piece was just, you know, there was nothing pushing this piece out, so it stayed in the curve. So it was just like, but at the top, you know, I put these on, that holds it open. And at the bottom, I stuck a few rocks in that were the right thickness, like the same thickness of the wall, just to hold it in place. And those just became part of the concrete when I dumped it all in there. Hardly any space to knock these pins out. Ah, got it. Because this wall is solid through, right, on that level. So the next level up, I want it to be solid through this way. And then the next one up, I want it to be this way. So there, so there isn't like one seam going all the way up. You know, staggered, just like you'd have bricks. This part looks like it came out really good too. Nice. Actually, it should even be easier just to do this next one here. Because now I've got something to clamp onto here to start. Back here, it was just kind of floating in the middle of nowhere with pieces jammed in. Aren't you going to keep chasing them? I just got my camera on. Did that rooster attack you? Yep, Chase those chickens! Go get them! Are you teaching that chicken a lesson? <laughs> Our uh, rooster occasionally gets feisty. He doesn't really do it with me. Maybe it's because when he does it to me, I pick him up and I throw him like a football. This doesn't really hurt. I mean, he's fine. He just goes, oh, 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 and then flaps down and lands. And then it seems like he doesn't want that to happen again. But he still tries it with Deshana once in a while. 
Maybe he just knows he gets some snuggles if he attacks you. Man, I was too slow with my camera. If I got it a few seconds earlier, I could have caught the chicken chase. They were doing laps around the island. I am actually measuring my angle now. Over about a 50 centimeter difference between these two pipes, I'm coming in about five centimeters on this level. And then the next level, maybe six. I want it to keep slowly sloping in a little bit more and a little bit more. And this thing goes right up to where I do not want to have a seam. I don't want to have a seam where these two walls meet. I want this piece to go straight across and the next piece over there to go straight across, like at the above it. So I'm putting my stick here. So this wall is going to end here. So the next one will go from there right across the connection to over here somewhere. Right. That'll be an important detail one day. Probably totally won't matter but it'll make it a little bit stronger. And I want to give it the best chance of working, you know. Ah, looking good. I've got some leftovers. Mm, leftovers. All right, I got another wall up here and some more foundation down here. Let's go build some bulldozer parts.